Hi, my name is Mu. I'm the director and second writer of the film called Arada. The story is about a punk kid who tracks down a ticket to California on the night of his birthday gig. This punk kid feels trapped in the city of Istanbul. He thinks that like if he stays, he becomes like his father. His father is actually a failed musician, which his career is ended by a coup attempt. So he thinks that the only way he can achieve his dreams is by leaving Istanbul. Uh, this kid searched all night to find this ticket. We learn that one of his, his mentors uh, gives the address and, and with his girlfriend they are searching through the night to find this ticket. His girlfriend uh, doesn't know that like he is actually gonna leave the city the same night. So it's really a tension going on between each other. So it's like a love story, but in a very different way. Not like a typical love story that we always see. We really actually see the passionate woman. She just follows him. That's it, you know, like she just literally follows him because she's in love. My leading actors were Burak Deniz and Bushra Develi, and, and, and both of them is uh, really well known in the region. What's also interesting is that like they were lovers in the real life too. So uh, to portray their real relationship in the movie, but also with this setup, it was really interesting to capture. What makes the story interesting is that like we actually see for the first time an underground Istanbul. All these subcultural uh, scenes like rave party scene uh, or like there's a punk, hardcore punk concert scene which, which takes like five minutes. And, and uh, because I really want people to experience that concert, you know, like, like what does it feel like to be in a punk concert in Istanbul? I want people to experience that. And, and when you watch that scene, you are going to see that like every people in that scene, those young kids, they were all real. They are the real punks in, who are living right now in Istanbul. Because when, when, you, when you feel that, the film becomes like larger than life, you know, that's where the magic comes, I think, that's what I believe in. So that's why I try to put that feeling, that effect into this film, that documentary feeling, that, that, that subcultural feeling that like you know that these people are real and you know that these people are actually like living in this city. They are not like actors or trying to put some costumes or makeup just to be someone. They are those people. And this is what makes this film really important because it has that community feeling. And when you watch it, you feel that you are part of that community too. <laughs> to this story is that like it's it's actually my family story what, what I try to portray in, in this film. My brother is one of the first people who created the first punk record in Turkey and, and so and, and also my father was a musician and his, his career is ended up with a coup and, and so I really want to show this contradiction going on between in my family when I grew up seeing both of them having a cultural clash like the older generation, they think that like you, you can't achieve your dream here. So that's why it's really interesting to, for me to portray this really uh, internal story of mine where it was not easy actually uh, to share, but it was really emotional for me while even shooting. This contradiction of, of, of all these things coming together in Istanbul is really makes makes the whole story and also the, the hidden gem of this, uh, this film. Uh, it's really wild, uh, it's really raw, and, and, and also it's really sincere. It's not like something that you always see. I wanted to show that real Istanbul and the real city life through this film. <laughs> 